Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, Alex was a world traveler. He'd been gone for a little minute, doing doing a little bit of everything out there. But today's today's video, I want to tell y'all about. Alex think I'm old and crazy. Old first, crazy second. Uh, so, for most people that don't know, social media wise, like Snapbook and Face Chat and all that other stuff that's out there. I think I said that backwards or inverted, but I don't deal in the social media space. So when Alex see me on social media typing messages, he always got to come help me out. He, well, not help me out. He think he's helping me out because he think I'm going crazy. He think I'm talking to chat bots and stuff. And I don't know who I'm talking to. Uh, but everything I do is a method behind the madness. And uh, and with that, so what Alex does is like, because on the share social media stuff we have for the channel or stuff, he see me chat and he'll, He'll text me and be like, hey, you know, you're talking to a bot or, hey, you know, you're talking to somebody that's scamming. I'm like, yeah, I know. But I know what he's thinking. Like, well, why the hell would you be talking to him? Well, because the thing is, is I want to know the method. I want to know the crease. I want to know what they're saying, because I'm not the first person they're doing it to. And if they're still doing it, that means it's working somewhere. So I'm trying to find the leverage of what they say, what they do to convince people to click a link and give them a virus or click a link and believe that they going to help them out and then they siphon off their bank accounts and stuff like that. I want to see what it is that they're doing to convince the naive or the dumb people that don't know, excuse me for calling them dumb, but the naive people or the people that's not tech savvy uh, to get them to hand over their life savings or hand over their computer access. I want to know what is the it because once I know what it is the it that they're doing, then I can reverse engineer it to share it with the populace to be like, hey, this is what's going on. This is how they're doing it. This is why they're doing it. But if I never know why, if I just be like, oh, it's a scam, I'm just going. What's that? I never know how they're getting everybody else and I can't share the information. So Alex, if you was ever wondering why I was, uh, why the old man is sitting there texting and thinking that he's talking to a human. I know I'm not talking to a human. I, I'm just trying to figure out the why. That makes sense. Yeah, I'll see like messages going through. I'm like, what is he doing? Because right. <laughs> he's about to give up all our passwords to the channel. <laughs> yeah, which make I mean, it makes sense of what your strategy is. I mean, that's a good way to think about it because it could help. Honestly, it could help you on how to sell. Basically, if you if these people are doing it and they're scamming people all day, like you said, they know what's working. Mm -hmm. But now that's an interesting approach. I don't think people voluntarily uh, uh speak with bots but, but i see what you're trying to do yeah and and the thing is is it's always and this is one thing that uh disturbs me a lot and i hear it a lot you probably hear it is i mean i even do it with cell phone calls like cell phones if somebody call if the phone don't automatically hang up on them because it's a scam i always answer the call like and i always see people say Oh, I don't know that number. I'm not answering the phone. But the funny thing is, is how many people you, and there's a saying in combat. There's no atheist in a foxhole. When your foxhole is about to get ran over, you think you're about to die. It ain't nobody sitting here saying, oh, I'm praying to myself that we make it. Or I'm praying to myself, help me, please. They call them for somebody to help them. So when people are in bad financial situations, bad situations, they call them for somebody to help them. And then the reason why I answer my phone is because I never know where opportunity is coming from. Yeah, sometimes I know it's a scam, yeah. But I still answer the phone, again, to see the who, the what. But most people I know, they say, oh, I don't know that number. I'm not answering it. But you're asking God for help. The reason why you're asking God for help because all the broke-ass people that you know, that you know the number, ain't going to be able to help you. So, so you never know when the opportunity comes. So case in point, when I started in real estate, I would give my information out to a lot of people saying, I'm looking for this, I'm looking for that. And now some my numbers and some of the, you know, investor websites and things like that, looking for deals. So sometimes when my phone rings, it's somebody calling for deals. I get emails and it's people sending me deals. So I don't have everybody's number logged in my phone. So the opportunity can come from anywhere. So that's why I always answer just to make sure that, okay, this is scam. This is whatever. But I can easily just hang up the phone. 
but I'm going to answer because the opportunities come. I've had opportunities and I've had deals from numbers that I didn't know. And I closed on those deals. I've closed on deals where I called, cold called somebody and they thought I was a bot or I was a scammer. And then, I mean, they literally told me I flew out to the state. And then when I land, they said, uh, I saw a call and they said, oh, well, the owner thinks that, you, that you're a scammer. You're not real. And then, so I said, okay. So I went and go look at other deals. But right before I leave, the, the agent happened just to call me back. And then, so we did the walkthrough or whatever. And then I closed on the deal. Then I closed on multiple deals with somebody that thought I was a scammer. So opportunities didn't come from anywhere. But if you don't sit there and not answer the phone or say, oh no, I'm just not going to, I'm not going to touch the phone. So where do you get the opportunity from? Only from the people that you know their number? How do you get the opportunity? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen that happen a lot with people. Um, as far as they don't want to answer calls or they don't want to answer a message or if someone has something to maybe offer and maybe it's not like a reputable per reputable person even offer anything but you don't know until you take that chance and you know try and find out what it is a lot of people they just pass up potential opportunities rather than trying to see what is you know behind closed curtains i think that's a, that's one trait that i try to pick up from you except i know kirby's gonna be like no, he doesn't answer my calls, but so I try no, my best to you know, try my best to at least. He, had, he answered everybody calls, but not. <laughs> but <go ahead. laughs> no, hey, I sent him a text. Hold on, I call you back. <laughs> then no, don't call back. And then you don't call back. <laughs> no, but but no, that's a that's definitely important, especially if you're going to be getting into anything as far as business. You don't know. Who's going to call you from that person's team? If you're working with an agent, if you're working with uh, a bank, a lender, you don't know if anyone on their team is going to call you or if you're going to get a follow-up call from a different agent that might have more deals for you or something like that. So it's always good to be available. Yeah, and it, it takes you nothing just to hang up the phone. It takes you nothing to hang up the phone. Now, if you just get a random text message and they're saying click, click a link or something, no, don't do that. And that's that takes me to my last point. My last point is, I am a conversation person. Do I know technology? Yes, I know technology through and through. I know I can text, I can email, I can voice chat, I can do it all. But to eliminate the scam, to eliminate things, and this is, I believe people who have become lazier in this technology age, they avoid the conversation. Like even, even when in business, I'd be like, hey, we need to get this done. And then everybody wants to send emails. And then I see the emails come because I'm CC'd on every email. And then I, I will always reply back, pick up the phone and call. Because nobody wants to call and talk to people anymore. But that's the best way to get deals done. That's the best way to get information transferred, to have conversations. Because if everybody's going to technology, having those conversations can be the difference between the deal. Like the last deal I did when they went to when I uh, got it for seller financing. If I just kept texting, hey, can we do a seller finance deal? Then I'm like, hell no, get the hell out of my face. But I had the conversation. I explained what I did, how I do it. And then they explained, you know, what they're doing, what their business model is. And then I said, okay, so can we come to a deal doing like this? Have a conversation. Don't send an email, have a conversation. And then when I first sent it out, they sent it via email. And before they sent it via email, they told me there's no way they're going to accept this offer. And then about a couple hours passed, I said, did you call to explain the offer? Because they didn't reply to the email. The person said no. Then they called to explain the offer. And then within one minute, they was like, yeah, I like that deal. Let's do it. The conversations are the thing. That's like the missing gap. I know technology makes everything more fluid, more faster. But if you want stuff to happen, you got to have that voice to voice, face to face contact with people to get deals done. I mean, I know people could tell you all the time, oh, I can get deals done on via email. Yeah, that's somebody that's been in the game for 20 years, but when you're starting out, you need to be having that face-to-face. -face. Until your reputation grows so vast that you can just email everybody and they know your, who your name is, oh, that's Kirby, yeah, that's the good. You have to have those conversations. You gotta shake hands. You gotta sit there and have coffee or have drinks or have cocktails and sit there and have conversations with people and look them eye to eye in the face and know that that you're for real about what you're doing. Because if you don't, then 
They just gonna pass you on and thinking that, oh yeah, he's scamming. It's just a text message. He ain't a real person. You gotta be able to have conversations. Don't let me send guys. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you have any comments, let us know down below. Share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.